we don't even see the blessings and the good things we already have around us. What's holding us back is our fear. Hey there, it's the King Coral and I want to talk about why it is so important to talk about money, to change your mind about the way that you think about money. I learned so much, especially in the past couple of years about my finances and especially this year I also try to focus on money management and I want to talk to you about it what I think that you can do today to change your financial situation so I don't know if you have a lot of money and you want to grow that money or if you're struggling financially paycheck to paycheck there are so many different reasons why we want to make more money I'm currently still a little bit in debt but I'm planning to pay it all off this month one thing what I'm doing to be able to pay for that I came up with this challenge of trying to sell everything in my home to make money to have enough money to pay off my whole debt just by selling things and what I learned from that experience and also my previous challenge about decluttering is that we have a lot of stuff in our home that we don't actually need we might have seen an advertisement about something and it gave us the urge to buy we might have used it once or twice and then we don't use it anymore because it's not as good as we promised it ourselves to be that is the thing that by learning on decluttering and all kinds of stuff you are learning to really see what you value in your life and i think that is so crucial on your money journey to see that you don't spend money you invest money in yourself so if you get certain books that help you build a certain skill or open your mind about a specific topic that is an investment because it's going to make you smarter after reading that book than you were before so that is an investment if you go do cooking classes like those are investments that help you build a certain skill oh i spent so much money on getting takeout instead of cooking because i don't like cooking then that is something that you can focus on how can i make cooking more enjoyable for me how can i learn how to cook so it tastes even better than my favorite restaurant those are skills that take time to develop just like money it's not coming overnight and that is the trap that is a lot of people they try to sell you courses on how to make 10k 20k a month and so many people fall for that trap and i'm telling you there might be some good courses out there but i'm also telling you that you will probably find them for free on youtube and that is what i did i tried to educate myself about money through books and also different kinds of youtubers and i saw what rich people were doing different compared to poorer people and that's how i noticed if you get into those good habits of not getting takeaway all the time of knowing where your money is going to look at all the subscriptions that you have there are probably some that you don't even use but you were too lazy to cancel them or something there are so many things or alternatives taking the train instead of taking the car because of parking and stuff that really depends on the area that you live in what you can do but for me especially during that sales challenge right now i can see and we all probably can agree it is way easier to spend money than to make money so it's really important to know where your money is going and to really ask yourself is it worth it i did the same thing with my finances trying to spend so much money on concerts and festivals and traveling and I learned that traveling gives me back so much. I learned so much about different cultures, different areas, the way people treat you there, different languages. It's so beautiful that I was like, okay, I wanna travel the world and you don't need to be a millionaire to be able to travel the world. And that's something like a lot of us think we need to be really wealthy in order to travel the world. And there are so many different ways on how you can travel. We might think we need a certain budget to start something or we need a certain gear to start YouTube. And I thought the same thing. And look at me now recording out of my room with my iPhone. You don't need as much as you think and you can start so many things with zero money. If there's something where you're like, okay, I need like 500 bucks to start, that means you need to earn at least 500 to be back at zero. So I would recommend anyone that's trying to do a side hustle, anything, start with something for free, like recording on your phone to start YouTube, or something and especially if you try to get into any kind of like passive income 
you need to put in your work first before you get paid anything. Like I started my YouTube two months ago and I can't believe that I'm almost at 300 followers in just that short period of time without posting it on my social media to promote my YouTube and stuff. I'm like, these people don't even know me. And that just makes me feel so grateful that there are people out there that care about the content that I make. It's really hard in the beginning if you don't see those numbers because you just keep on feeling like, like, who am I doing this for? Especially like for me, I spent at least 20 hours of work into my YouTube every week and it's unpaid but it is so rewarding i feel like getting positive comments talking about something that i'm passionate about because that's the thing like imagine you get paid for all the conversations that you have with your friends like stuff that you love to talk about and that is so worth it that even if you don't make money youtube is already worth it i recommend anyone that's trying to do any kind of side hustle do a little bit of research but get into acting as soon as possible because all the people that i met that were building businesses the first businesses always failed to some people it takes like five businesses to start to get successful one to some it might take 10 but it is about that mentality of not giving up and seeing that failure as like a learning like i said with my challenge everyone can start like me and try to sell things in order to pay their bills or look at how much rent is if it's too much that you cannot afford it you might need to level down and get like a smaller place but something where you have more money available at the end of the month to still be able to invest that money so your future self will thank you for that or find other ways this is like endless possibilities and i'm excited to see how that challenge is going because i didn't make any sales yet today and i already put so much time into doing that stuff as well but what i'm learning is like even if i don't sell anything i learn how to price things or good descriptions or take good photos of the product there are so many different ways that we can still learn about things even if we don't make money yet. A lot of times we're so focused on making money that we forget all the blessings around us. And that's why I want to put out this video to tell you that maybe you can take a step back, really look at everything and not just the money part, because all the things during your progress that you are learning these will apply to you in the future being able to make more money or start a successful business anything so there was this quote that i seen a woman say and she was like how many red cars did you see on your way to get here and the guy was like i don't know i'm pretty sure i've seen one but i don't know how many and then she asked now imagine i would have told you you get 50 bucks every time you see a red car would you have seen any red cars on your way to get here today? And he was like, yes. And she said like, that's the same thing with luck. If we don't look at our opportunities sent our way and we're just so focused on getting money or getting out of work, it's like anything. We don't even see the blessings and the good things we already have around us and things that might even help us improve our situation. Like maybe there are some things that you can do at work to get a raise. There are so many different opportunities and what's holding us back is our fear. Like we don't wanna quit our job because we already know our coworkers, we know what we're getting ourselves into. But if there's a job around the corner where you can make a third or two thirds like more money, that is so much. A lot of people don't look at that because they're so scared and they're like, but I don't want to move away from home. A bunch of excuses of trying to not get out of your comfort zone, but the comfort zone is where you get successful, where you meet yourself, where you grow, where you grow your income, where you grow your personality. This is where you want to go and I want to encourage you to get there because for me, these past one and a half years were crazy. Like they were so far out of my comfort zone and I thought it's going to be so nice to live abroad and stuff, but it was really like a roller coaster. I had like the highest highs and the lowest lows and I'm so grateful for it though because I was able to learn so much about myself, what I want and where I see myself in the next years. And I hope you can take anything from this video and I hope I'll see you back in the next one. Bye.